Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this shrimp seafood soup. It's easy to make and very delicious guys. So wear your apron and sit back, let's get started. In this bowl, I have the shrimp head and tail that I have been piling up from previous uses. I put them in the freezer and when I have a large batch, I make a soup out of it. And so yeah, I'm going to first of all blend all this into a very smooth paste. We all know how expensive these shrimps are so instead of throwing the head and the tail away, man, it's better you just pile them up and make something delicious out of it. I'm now going to add a little bit of enough water into this shrimp to blend it and the essence of this water is to enable us get enough juice from this shrimp. Using a wooden spoon, mix everything together. In a clean bowl, put a sieve, pour the shrimp inside it and separate the shaft from the juice. Now we throw away the chaff because we don't need it. Still using the sieve, we are going to continue to sieve the chaff from the juice. When it gets to the bottom of the bowl, we need to throw that away because there is a lot of dirt under the bottom. We are going to continue to do this for up to five to six times until we're sure there are no shelves and there is no sand in the shrimp juice. At this point now, the shrimp juice should be ready and it's clean of debris and sand. To start this dish, we have to prep everything before we start cooking because seafood does not cook for a very long time. So here I have some uziza seed and some native nutmeg which is called uru which I'm going to roast and grind. And here I have a half cup of egusi which I'm going to also grind. And here I have two spoons of ofo which I'm going to add a spoon of palm oil, mix it together and keep it aside for later. The essence of adding palm oil to the ofo is to make the ofo easier to dilute inside the soup. All ingredients will be in the description box, please check it out. And here we have some okazi leaf, which I'm going to slice. For this seafood soup, I'll be using the yellow pepper because of the sweet flavor in it, the aroma that comes from it. I'm going to blend this with onion. Give it a rough blend. And to begin our shrimp seafood soup, here we have some croaker fish and some snail which I'm going to steam with the roughly blended yellow pepper and onions together. I'll be adding a teaspoon of Cameroon pepper. Also a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. 
a teaspoon of salt, and the pepper mix. I'm going to rinse the blender with a little bit of water. Put this to the fish. Give it a little stir. Don't turn it too much yo, so you don't scatter this our lovely fish. Yo. Just give it a very small stir. And we're going to cover this and let it simmer for like five minutes before we start adding our other ingredients. It's been five minutes now. I'm now going to add the shrimp juice to this and allow it to boil before I add the other ingredients. Now that everything is boiling, you can just see the shrimp juice, all the shrimp, just, you can just see it there in the soup. We're now going to add the spices, the oziza seed and the uru spice to this. And we're going to add some crayfish to give it a bang, yes, to this. And we're going to add some little palm oil and then there is no shrimp soup without shrimp and so we will be adding some fresh shrimp to this some of them I left the tail on the tail of the shrimp on because since it's a shrimp soup we need to see the tail and confirm that yes it's hanging <laughs> Give that a little stir, not too much, just give it a little touch and we're going to cover that, allow it to boil. When it starts boiling, we'll come back for the next ingredients. Soup is almost ready and so to take in this soup, I'm going to add the egg goosey to this. This one is optional, if you don't want to add the egg goosey, you can only use the offo ban. Adding the egg goosey to make a little bit difference to this soup. Give that a little stir and cover it, let it cook for like five minutes. I want to thank my subscribers for your support and for the returning subscribers. Man, thank you so, so much for your support and thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Guys, thank you so much. I love you guys. Point now, I'm going to add the offer and I'm going to put it by the side of the pot because it will be easier to incorporate it into the soup. At this point, I added a spoon of chicken bouillon. You can taste it and see if the salt is okay. You can add to your taste. And we're going to give this a very soft touch by stirring it so the fish doesn't scatter then give it like two minutes we are now going to add the uziza leaf give it a stir and take it off the heat if you found this video very useful please smash the like button thank you so much this shrimp seafood soup can be eaten with any swallow of your choice. Guys, I want to thank you so, so much for stopping by to watch my video. And for more beautiful, delicious recipes like this, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family so they know how to use the parts of shrimp for a delicious seafood soup. I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers. I love you. Have a very beautiful day. Thank you.